So I've come out to pick some oregano to put into my pasta sauce and oven mitt decides to join me. I can't tell you how difficult it is to pick herbs when you have a cat that keeps jumping up on the wall and puppies who keep jumping up on the wall. <laughs> You're just not allowing me to pick my herbs, are you? No. You just now there's gonna be cat hairs all over my oregano. Except I don't really mind. Extra calcium. So this is my oregano. And it's just coming up. It has wasn't damaged by the frost last night or the other day. So it's doing really, really well. And the cats and dogs are all in it. So um, what does a girl do? Oh, and here comes Inca. Ah, all through my oregano. You can see what I've already started chopping up right there. I've met, honestly, how am I supposed to cook my dinner if you want to help me in this way? The evening sun is shining in, so I don't know if you can see. This is mince. This is lamb mince, actually. And some white onion. So this is it diced up. And then uh, some red onion, diced up. Then I have a whole series of uh, two bowls full of cherry tomatoes. And then I picked oregano from the garden and I chopped it up. And uh, this is garlic that I've diced up. So this is wonderful uh, locally grown garlic. I collect a lot of it up when it's harvested in the autumn uh, instead of the Chinese garlic. So these are the ingredients for some pasta sauce. So I'm going to do my aga pasta sauce uh, is my next cooking on the aga video. Of the two rings, this is the hotter ring. So I'll lift that up, put this old Le Creuset, its bottom is a little bit worn. Then I have olive oil, which I start the process of off of the um, for the pasta sauce. So a good slathering of olive oil. Then over here I grab my red onions, my diced red onions, put that in there, and then my white onions. You can see the evening sun is coming streaming through. So those are my two sets of onions that I put in. I'll put in the garlic later on, but uh, this is my first bit of um, cooking, is the olive oil and the two different sets of onions. So I will let them render down before I add in the meat will be next. Once the onions are sizzling away like that, I bring them over to the simmering plate. Close this, because this keeps the heat in. And then um, stir them around a bit and let them sweat down a bit more. This is when I add in, when the onions are sweating down, this is when I add in the salt and pepper. You can see I've ground it in. I grind in, I use salt and pepper that you grind, so whole peppers and, and crystals of salt. So they're ground into the, um, the onion mix. When the onions get that slightly translucent look to them, that's when I switch it back over to the hot ring, always closing the previous ring. And this is when I add the mince. And I just break it up. So when the meat starts browning, you can see the meat is just, there's still pink bits, but there's lots of brown bits in it. So it's kind of like 
it's um, a third or halfway cooked. This is the stage, for no particular reason, this is just how I've always done it. This is when I add the garlic. So that's the diced garlic. So I will mix that in. And keep cooking the meat before I add the herbs and the tomatoes. I won't do that quite yet. So now the uh, meat is mostly cooked. It's all lovely and crumbly. There's a few pink bits left, but it, the vast majority of it is cooked. This is when I add in the margarine, uh, the, not margarine, this is oregano, fresh from the garden, and as much fresh herbs, the more you put in, the merrier. Then these are the cherry tomatoes that uh, I will add two bowls of. So those are two bowls of cherry tomatoes. And then, there, it's still on the hot side, so I'm going to bring it over to the simmer side. Close the hot side and put the kettle on to here. This pre-warms the kettle so that when I'm boiling for the pasta, the kettle will, uh, sorry, the hot water when I pour it into the pan for the uh, pasta uh, will boil quicker. So. I always leave the kettle on the on the lid of the hot side because this is very warm and it heats the water up. Anyway, this is the tomatoes, sun dry uh, sun dried tomatoes. What are these called? Cherry tomatoes. Now, I will just let that cook for a while over there on that the simmer side and let. Put the lid on and now I'll go out and do some farming like feeding uh, bring the horses in for their evening meal while the pasta sauce cooks add, I haven't gone out to feed the horses yet but I forgot to add I usually add um, kind of a, a small tin of um, pureed uh, tomato and I don't have any so I'm slightly cheating and using this gluten-free red pepper tomato sauce. Um, so it's adding uh, an element that wasn't intended. Usually I have the little tinned uh, tomato um, sauce that's just the tomato pureed. Yeah, tomato puree. So I'm adding this because I need the extra. I was looking for it in the cupboard and I didn't have any. So it's on the shopping list, as they say. So this gets um, moved in or stirred in as well. So, and if it was, it would have been the pureed uh, tins of tomato, which has no additional herbs or spices or anything. But this Kilken stuff is really nice. So that's mixed in there. And all these cherry tomatoes will burst and add to the flavor. So that is now going to be cooking away while I go and do the horses. The pasta is boiling. It's not a really rumbling boil, but it's boiling. And the pasta sauce is simmering. Bubbling away as well. So I'll be putting that through the colander, loading that up, and putting some grated cheese on top and having me dinner. Can't wait. So pasta's done. It's a gluten-free kind of corn pasta that uh, I buy. And, um, little whirly gig one. I can't have normal pasta, sadly. I used to be a huge pasta eater before uh, before I discovered I was um, celiac. So, 
And here's the pasta sauce, bubbling away. Beautiful stuff. And there we go. I'm one of those kind of people who put pasta with their sauce. I love a huge pile of sauce. I'm, you know, a piglet, what can I say? So that then comes over here. And I put on grated cheese. There we go. Now, all ready for me to eat. <laughs> 